Well hello fellow gamer thugs, how are you all doing? Well in this video we're gonna talk about the gaming industry's worst kept secret. That's right, the Xbox Series S. That thing is real. That's right. After months of speculation, dreaming about a console that would cost, you know, $300. Is that a possibility in this modern world where configuration is the most important thing for the graphically intensive games? Nowadays we get, you know, the third party games between the PC and the console are, are like a world of a difference. Maybe the exclusives stand out well, but the third party games, man, they stand out in the PC. PC is where I prefer to play the third party games, you know. Everything. For example, if I would say um, Assassin's Creed, yes, the Assassin's Creed series is way more better than how it looks on the console. So I prefer PC gaming in that way. But that thing has been thrown out of the window right now. Why? Because Xbox Series X and PS5, they boast this amazing configuration of a high-end PC. And the price, well, it's still in speculation about like $500 or $600. Is that really affordable? Am I going to spend like that much money for a console instead of a PC? What people are going to do? Well, the thing is, many people here, they want a budget console that could play everything at an acceptable FPS and graphics. Well, the thing is, the Xbox Series S came out. As a matter of fact, I would say that it has been leaked, but then later that day, which is which is yesterday, Xbox has confirmed, officially confirmed their Xbox Series S, and they gave, they gave up the configuration too. And the thing is, it is, it is mainly focused on budget-conscious gamers. Well, if you ask me, yes, that could be me too. And is it possible we could go for the Xbox Series S instead of Xbox Series X or a PS5 or a PC? Well, I would say Xbox Series S is a great thing for budget gamers. Why? Is because we have a great configuration matching a high-end PC too. I want to I wanna talk about the configuration here right now. Well, the processor is 8 cores Zen 2 CPU. Come on, man. That is amazing. And the graphics, I would say, it only has 4 teraflops and 20 computing units. It has 1.5 GHz and custom RDNA 2 GPU. The thing is, guys, I want to tell you this. Xbox Series S only has 4, four teraflop GPU. That is way lower than its higher-end brother, Xbox Series X, which boasts like 12 teraflops. And PS5 only has like 9 teraflops or 8.5 teraflops, maybe. But the thing is this. 4 teraflops of RDNA 2 GPU is a great deal. Why? It's because every next gen game will run at 60 FPS. As a matter of fact, they even confirmed the game would, games would run up to 120 FPS and up to 1440p resolution. But the thing is, for me, for you know, for <laughs> if you ask like uh, guys like me, we would say 1080p at 60 FPS is more than enough for us. There are a lot of people still in this world. We accept like 1080p at 60 FPS is a great thing for us, man. We don't need, we don't demand like 4K at all. We don't, we don't like fight for, fight for it. Like we need 4K to play our games. No, even in this uh, uh, high-end refresh of the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, people never asked about 4K 30 FPS. We only cared about 1080p at 60 FPS. Well, the Xbox Series S runs every single game at. 1080p at 60 FPS, possibly, yes, you heard that right, possibly, but they even said it would run up to 120 FPS, but the thing is, the upscale of resolution would be 4K, but 4K 60 FPS, I don't know, that could be a possibility, but many games will run at, you know, 1080p at 60 FPS, which is great for a guy like me, alright, and now moving up to the memory, we have 10 GB of DDR6 memory, which is amazing, and internal storage of... 512 GB at custom NVMe SSD. That's like a brand new thing, okay? So 512 GB is it enough? Well, no. But the thing is, we can add on our storage using our external support, so that won't be a problem. Expandable storage up to one TB of expansion card. That is the NVMe SSD, and external storage would be USB 3.2 external HDD support, so that will be a problem. But and the thing is, guys, there is no optical drive, so don't go thinking you can play. Um, 4K Blu-ray movies and everything, no, that is not an option. That has been kicked out to reduce the price, I would say. But for a, for a guy like me, for a gamer like me, only game-focused guy. And one more thing, guys, Xbox has Xbox Game Pass, so we necessarily don't even need a DVD, guys. So, that would be a problem for me. 
Well, yeah, that's right. And the, now let's talk about the release date. The release window would be November 10th of 2020, and the price would be 299 USD and 249 euros. So, what do you guys think? Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S. It launches on November 10th. But the thing is, similar in processor. Only the graphic memory is different. And the memory is amazing. And the internal storage is only 512. That is half of what Xbox Series X could give. But it doesn't matter because we have the expansion and everything. So, what do you guys expect? This Xbox Series S would only cost like $300. Now imagine that guys, $300 is a great deal. I don't want to spend $600 on a higher end console, but I would spend $300, which is very cheap for this configuration. If you go if you go on, you know, you want to buy something similar to this configuration for a PC, dude, that is not a possibility, man. Just dream about it. $300, this console, this configuration, it's a dream come true for people like me. I would buy this, yes, absolutely. So I want you guys to tell them, how many budget, budget conscious gamers are out there who want to buy this console day one? I don't know, I, 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 you know, I'm not gonna buy on day one, but, but my option is I will buy this, you know. You know, PC and Xbox, they're the same, yes, we get it. You don't want to buy an Xbox because we because we have PC, so it doesn't matter. But the thing is, this configuration for $300, man, just think about it. We don't need a PC. We can't even spend that much on a PC. It would cost too much. But the thing is, graphic power is just 4 teraflops, but it still can play games at 60 FPS with immersive graphics, so we don't want to have a problem with that. But the Xbox Series X would play 8K. It, it could run the games up to 8K resolution, but it can run games at 60 FPS, maybe 120 FPS at 4K itself. So that's a great thing. So, you know, if you guys have the money, just flash the cash on Xbox Series X. But if you are a guy like me who's really budget conscious, I would go for the Xbox Series S. I want you guys to talk about this in the comments below. So just let's uh, let's discuss about this, how it's going to be. You know, November 10th, what is on your radar, guys? PS5, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, or the new NVIDIA GPUs? I don't know. We'll talk about that in the other video. All right, guys. This video is all about the Xbox Series S, and thank you for listening to me. And we'll see you guys in the next video. And check out the other videos in our channel. Hope you guys love it. And we're doing videos in English as well as Tamil. And this video. I would be doing this video in Tamil for sure and th that video is coming up next too. So first we gave the English video and next, yep, that's right, that's how you're gonna run. Thank you guys for listening and keep supporting. Gamer Talks, we're out.